Yo team, Monday. Back at another week. Okay, so our warm up, what we're going to hit is five minutes. Five minute AMRAP of 10 up to balance, five push ups to pike, 10 PVC pass throughs, and then 10 good bonnets. Okay, so your up downs, all we're going to do standing tall, get yourself into a straight arm plank so you can jump back. Jump back in, you can step back, step back in. I don't mind. Get yourself from standing to a uh, straight arm plank. Your push ups to pike, okay, so from that top uh, plank position, elbows are going to come nice and tight to the body, chest to the floor. <clears throat> You're going to press back to the top and then send your hips into the sky, right? So, elbows in close to the body, chest to the floor, press up, hips to the sky, head to the window, pause, come back to the plank, floor, press. Head to the window. We got five of those. Then we've got PVC pipe passers. So abs squeeze, bum tight, hands nice and wide so that I can keep my arms as straight as possible to get the bar to come all the way around, touch at the back, and come all the way forward again. The looser you get, bring those hands in a little bit closer, but we're still keeping those arms straight. Yeah? Then we got 10 good mornings. Pop the PVC pipe or the barbell on your back. We've got a slight bend in the knees and then a big hinge of the hips until you feel a stretch in your hands or until your chest is parallel to the floor. Stand tall, squeeze the bum, slight bend in the knees, pushing the hips back, feel the stretch, feet stay flat on the floor, stand tall, squeeze the bum. We've got 10 of those, so roll through that um, for 5 minutes, right? Then you go into 2 rounds with a 4 minute time cap on it, just so we're not spending too long, okay? Um, we've got 5 deadlifts. Five dip and drive, five strict press, and then five ninja jumps. Okay, so you deadlift as always. Our set up position, our shins are almost vertical, my chest is nice and proud, barbell is nice and close to my body, back flat. So from here, I'm going to push the floor away with my legs, keeping that bar as close to me as I can, no movement in my shoulders, I stand tall and squeeze the bum. Now, no, at the top, my knees and my hips extend together, okay? I don't want to see your knees, then your hips, okay? So, barbell is close to the center shoulders, big proud chest, barbell close to the body, stand, knees and hips, extend to the center. On the way down, it's a slight bend in the knees to keep the path clear for the barbell. Hips go back, bar passes the knees, and we can add that little bend in the knees, okay? Anytime we move the bar, we move the body out the way so the bar has a straight line, okay? You don't want to drag the bar out and round your knees on the way up or out and round your knees on the way down, okay? So five deadlifts, you're dipping drives. That barbell's going to start up on the shoulders, okay? Elbows up in front. Now when I dip, my hips go back, okay? I'm not sending my hips forward and bending my knees forward. My bum goes back as if I'm just doing a tiny little squat. Now from here, because I've closed my hip, I can open it aggressively. That barbell just pings up off my shoulder. So I'm going to dip and then drive. That bar just pings off my shoulder. Again, hips go back, feet stay flat, aggressively open the, the hips. Barbell pops off the top of the shoulders. Okay? <clears throat> Be as aggressive with that as you possibly can. We're just trying to extend our hips as powerfully as possible, yeah? So, um, five of those, five strict press. We have the bar on our shoulders. I'm going to squeeze my bum, squeeze my abs. I bring my head out the way of the bar. I press the bar tall. And I bring my head back through the window, similar to that push up to pike. Okay? Now, all the way down, head comes out the way. Bring the bar down so I don't hit myself in the nose. Believe me. Head out of the way. Press up. Pause. Abs tight. Bum squeeze. Again, head comes out the way. So the bar. We come back down again. Again, we move the body out the way of the bar, not the body, the bar out the way of the body. Our ninja jumps, okay? Again, on that topic of powerful hip extension, I'm going to start with my toes, so harder option, toes pointed away from me, so I'm on the top of my foot. Now, from here, powerfully extend my hips and land, bomb my squat, and then stand tall. A little bit easier from there. The balls of my feet on my toes stay on the floor, okay? Not as much pressure on my ankles. And then again, we're going to powerfully extend my hips and the 
bottom of the squat and then stand. And then we're struggling with that, but we can also do some vertical jumps. So you're going to set yourself, um, <clears throat> close the hip off, powerfully extend, jump up off the floor. Okay? We're just trying to extend our hips as aggressively as we can. So that's the first two parts of your warm up. Then you're going to run through your movements. Okay? In the workout today, you've got deadlift, hand cover cleans, and then shoulder to overhead. So you're probably going to go push jerk for this, right? So, the deadlift we talked about. We're going to keep that bar in nice and close to the body. I've set my shoulders back and down. So here, strong position. Okay, hammies are on, shins are almost vertical. As I stand, I'm pressing the floor away with my feet. Hips and knees extend at the same time. Now there should be no change in position in my back, okay? So don't just wrench that bar from the floor, especially when we start adding weight to it. You take the tension at the bottom by setting the shoulders, and as you stand, the bar comes with you. It's not zero to 60 kilos or what we on the bar, right? Cool, that's the deadlift. Hand power clean. What is the hand power clean? We're taking the barbell from above our knee and catching it on our shoulders in a high squat, okay? So like I said with that dip and drive, we send our bum back as if we were doing a tiny squat. The hand power clean, the catch position is the exact same, okay? Hips go back, you're just in a high squat. You've not sat all the way to the floor, right? So, set yourself up. You're gonna pick that bar up off of the floor, okay? I'm gonna have that slight bend of my knees. My shoulders are set for my deadlift. I then send my hips back, barbell's going to stop just above my knee. Now from here, if I pick my shoulders up and then aggressively extend my hips, give a shrug and a high pull, the barbell is roughly at my collarbone, right? So real time, looks like this, okay, barbell stays close to me, I use my hips to send that bar up and then my arms just guide it to where it needs to go. Now, as I've extended my hips, I'm going to send my bum back into a partial squat, and at the same time, I'm gonna set my elbows fast and as high as I can catch them. Get them, sorry. So see here, I'm in a squat position. If I had to, I could sit down and stand up. We're trying to avoid this, where my knees are forward, my hips fully open, all the pressures in my knees and my lower back. So every time you catch that bar in the clean today, your hips, your back, and your elbows Go high, okay? That's the hand power clean. Don't overthink it. You take the bar from above your knee, <clears throat> catch it on your shoulders in a half a squat, quarter of a squat, something like that, okay? And then we've got the shoulders overhead. So if we're going to go push jerk, again, we're using those hips as aggressively as we can and we're catching with our hips back, okay? We want to use our glutes, hammies, and quads and keep our spine in a safe position, not just use our quads and our spine explodes, right? So, <clears throat> that setup that we had in our dip and drive, that's where I start. I dip, and then from here, I'm gonna drive the barbell up overhead, and then use a secondary dip to lock my arms out, and then use my legs to stand the bar. So real time, my hips go back and the dip, my hips go back and my catch, and then I stand, okay? So, Easy, stand without the barbell. I'm gonna jump and land, hips back, okay? This time, hands on the shoulders, dip, jump, land, stand tall. This time, after I extend my hips and I jump, I'm gonna punch my hands, hold my head, land with my hips back, and then stand. We apply that to the barbell. We have the push jerk, okay? Again, when we catch that bar overhead, I'm here, as if I was going to do a really narrow grip overhead squat. I'm not catching it here. Hips open, lower back taking all the strain, knees explode. Hips, back. Any takeaway points you take from this video, send your damn hips back, right? Great. Run through those movements. Then, last little part. We've got five minutes to start building weight. Okay, um, <clears throat> for your for your emo. And you're gonna start light and then you're gonna build through this, okay? So your five minute emo is one deadlift, one hand power clean, and then one shoulder to overhead. Now ideally that's done as a complex 
where we don't have to put the bar down on the floor. One, one, and one. At that point, we're going to put some more weight on the bar. We're going to enjoy 30 seconds of rest or whatever's left, and we're going to go again. And we'll go again. Five times, right? Our workout, we got 12 minute emo. Every minute on the minute, okay, each 60 second window, your job is to complete five deadlifts, five hand power cleans, and then five shoulder to overhead, okay? 12 minutes worth. Then, you got a three minute rest, so you're gonna rest until minute 15. 12, 15, right? And then we got a 10 minute window to find a heavy complex, okay? So, our complex, similar to what we just did, or the exact same, five deadlifts, five hand power cleans, five shoulder to overhead. In that case, you're gonna go five, five, and five without putting the bar on the floor. After your fifth shoulder to overhead, you can drop the bar and then decide, right, I'm gonna go slightly heavier. Five, five, and five, I'm moving well, sweet. I'm gonna go heavier again. So use that 10 minutes to see how heavy you can go. Five deadlifts, five hand power cleans, five shoulder to overhead without dropping the bar, okay? So, that is the class workout. If we are doing this from home, okay? What you guys are gonna do is 10 rounds per time of five and five, so single arm deadlifts, five and five single arm power cleans, and then five and five shoulders to order, okay? 10 rounds of that. Movement standards are the exact same, you just do it with one hand. Let's get it, guys. It's Monday, enjoy.